Hi everybody. Another month has passed and I've been super busy. Um, sorry it took so long to get this video up. Um, I've got a lot to talk about on this video, so we might as well go ahead and get started. Um, first off, I want to say I'm super close to hitting 200 subscribers, so thank you guys. I appreciate it. I can't tell you how much um, I'm surprised by the fact that there's so many people out there doing this, but I think that's great. So in this video, I wanted to give you guys the opportunity to see the owner's manual or the instruction manual for the Union Looms. I got this from um, my boyfriend's sister-in-law. She's a weaver in Pennsylvania and she sent me a copy of this manual when I got my loom to try to help me out. I looked everywhere and couldn't find one for free. Everybody wanted to charge for it and they weren't always complete. So I don't want you guys to have to go out there and search and pay for this. So I took pictures of each page of the manual. I'm sure there might be a few pages missing, but it seems like the bulk of it is there. Um, I, like I said, I took pictures and you guys can go back and do still shots, um, print it out, whatever you need to do so that you have that. It helped me a lot when I was first starting out and hopefully it'll help you guys too. So that's in this video. I also made a um, brown and red grocery bag rug that's striped. The brown bags are grocery bags from a local grocery store and the red bags came from my daughter's uh, place of employment. They held kits, um, so I had a bunch of red bags still to use up, so uh, I show you that process and I'm sorry I've got notes here because I can't remember everything. The red and brown striped rug is available for sale in my Etsy shop. If you guys haven't checked that out. Um, I always put the link below in the description, so go over there and check out everything I have for sale. And you can see more of my work that way. And lastly, at the end of the video, I just put in, we went to the Smoky Mountains um, this past week and stayed in a cabin in Sevierville. It's my favorite place on earth. So I took a video of the cabin, um, Ben went with us of course, I can't ever leave him behind and we had a really good time. So at the end of the video there is a clip of the cabin and I don't know if I have a couple pictures in there too but anyhow I just thought you guys might like to see that if you ever get a chance to go. Um, these cabins are beautiful and you can rent them for any amount of time you want and like I said this one was in Sevierville, Tennessee and it was absolutely beautiful. Um, next video I will be making my daughter's memory rug. I have to get that done because her birthday is coming up next week so I'm kind of under the gun to get that done. And um, So anyhow let's get this video started and I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. I did want to show you on this rug. I know in previous videos I show you where I make several rugs and unroll them and tie the fringe at both ends after I'm done getting them off the loom. But when I'm just doing a rug like this where I have one to take off, I go ahead and tie the fringe on this side where it's been cut off. First, that way when I take it off the loom, I just have one side that's loose to deal with. Also wanted to talk about this real quick. It is what is attached to the carpet roll lever. It stops it from rolling backwards as you roll your weaving around the carpet roll. And if you release it, 
it will allow your carpet roll to roll freely so that you can just pull your rugs off the loom versus how I do it, which is to unroll them one at a time and make a roll on my own. I don't use this because it's spring loaded and under a lot of tension and it pinches me anytime I try to take it off and I have trouble getting it back on. But I did want you to know that you can do it that way. I had somebody send me a question and want to know why I did it the way I did it. So anyhow, it's because I'm scared of it. It does pinch me. Of course, I'll always have several projects going at once. So here is my Chat Wolf Pup loom or harness. I have it warped in a black and white stripe pattern, and I'm going to make mug rugs on this. So we'll be taking a look at that as I go along through the process. The rug is off the loom and on the finishing table. And as you can see, I've got that side already tied off. All I need to do is trim the fringe to the right length. So I'm going to finish this up. And then I'll let you see what it looks like when it's done. I also have my daughter's scrubs over here that I still need to do for the next video. And we also have a pile of socks here at a ball that I started. We'll also be making a sock rug soon. I just use this weight as I tie off because these grocery bag rugs are very lightweight and they move around a lot so that just keeps everything in place while I tie off. Here it is finished.
so in this video I am going to show you the red rug 